Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks, an hour ago, Ubiquiti released Unify OS Dream Machines 2.5.17. A lot of people have been waiting for this as it adds low balancing, and we're waiting for Unify OS 3.0 to be brought to the UDM pros. From this tweet that Marcus put out, it says, Ubiquiti friends, as we said, the path now is faster. 2.5 for the UDMs is already release candidate. 3.0 will soon be in early access. But you need to remember this is still a release candidate. It hasn't officially gone to the official channel, but I'm allowed to make a video on it because it's public. Now, before you update your UDM Pro, make sure you read through this change log and I will put that down below in the description. Because if we go down to the bottom, it says additional information. You must be on 2.4.27 or newer in order to update to this version. Do not update from 1.12.x to 2.5.x or newer. And then it tells us how we're gonna update it. So it says update your console by changing to the release channel in the Unify OS settings to release channel. So let's go ahead and update my UDM lab console. I have a UDM pro here and we could see that it's at 2.4.27. If we go into the network controller, we're gonna be missing the low balancing. So let's look at that. So under our settings and then our internet, it shows nothing about low balancing. It's only failover only. But once we update to this new version, we should have the option to do load balancing. So now going back to my Unify OS, we could see that there's an update available to 2.5.17. I'm gonna click on this and once it updates, we'll be back. The update is now done and it only took about five minutes. This UDM doesn't have anything on it. There's no other devices. So yours may take a little longer. But let's go into the network controller. And this is exactly what people were wanting to see. If we look under our internet, we could now see two different low balancing types. So we have failover and then we have distributed. So this will allow us to balance it between our WAN 1 and our WAN 2. Currently it's on 99 slash 1. Most people will probably just want 50 50. I do have another full video on the low balancing and I will put that in the description below. Another thing that 2.5.17 brings is the ability to do wired speed limits. We've always been able to do speed limits on our Wi-Fi, but really never on our wired connections. Now, if we go under traffic management, we could go over to rules. We could create a new rule and we see that we have a speed limit. So before I do the speed limit, let me create another network. So I'm gonna go up to my networks, we'll create new network, and I'm just gonna call this speed limit. And I'm just gonna leave all the defaults and then we'll add the network. I'm gonna go back to my UDM devices, click on my UDM Pro, go to ports, and then we'll hit port manager. On port manager, I'm gonna click on port three and I'm gonna put this in the new network of speed limit and then apply changes. Now, just to show you that this is working, before I put the speed limit on, let's do a speed test. And without the speed limit, I'm getting 680 down by 929 up. So now let's apply a speed limit to the wired connection. I'm gonna give it 10 by 10. So we'll go back into the settings, click on traffic management, and then we'll create a new rule. Under the rule, we're gonna click on speed limit and the category is gonna be internet. Here is where we're gonna set our bandwidth limit. I'm gonna put it to megabits per second for down and up, and we're gonna give them 10 on both. So 10 down and 10 up. Under the target, we're going to specify that new network that I created. So we can see the speed limit network, and then we're going to apply the rule. You can have different schedules if you'd like. Now with that rule created, I'm going to push this computer over to port three, which we tag for that speed limit network. This computer is now on that speed limited network. So let's see what we're going to get. Okay. And as you can see that speed limiter is working, we're just getting under 10 megabits per second for the download and upload. And that's really great. It's been a long requested item and I'm glad Ubiquity added it. One other great addition to 2.5.17 is the ability to have a VPN client. So we could route through a privacy VPN through this client, such as Nord or PIA. And I do have a video on that and I'll put that below. The load balancing and the speed limit were the biggest thing, but let's take a look at a couple of the other improvements. They added email verification for UI accounts for creation during setup. They added hard drive issue notification to the Unify OS, added visual icons for UID and connect during backup restore, added support for remote syslog, They've improved the stability of PPPoE connections, which I do have, and they've improved the stability for site-to-site -site VPNs. They updated Sericata to 6.0.5, and then we have some bug fixes. So we're one step closer for the UDM base model and the UDM Pro to be catch up to the UDM SE that's sitting on 3.x. 
On 3.x, we're going to be able to have the ability for firewall rule logging and also WireGuard VPN. The whole Unify team has been working really hard to get these updates out to users with the UDM base and the UDM Pro models, and I want to thank them for it. It has gone fairly smooth from the transition from Unify OS 1.0 to 2.0 and now to 2.5. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.